For people who still read the paper every day, a reminder of old times when classified ads filled page after page. This is the today version of a woman seeking man ad. It reads, looking for a decent man to marry. Why is this news? News Channel 5's Alana Quillen is live in our newsroom to explain tonight. Alana. Well, ads like these featuring an attractive man or woman asking for people ages 35 to 75 may appear to be legit, but look a little closer. This woman's name is Sophia Farkash, and that's actually the name of the former wife of dictator Muammar Gaddafi. And WPTV's internet and security expert told me these ads have all the makings of a scam. Most scammers are looking for desperation. And their prey, men looking for love. Check out this advertisement in today's Palm Beach Post. In this case, they're taking advantage of the pressure to find somebody and that they see desperation out there. Alan Krowitz, WPTV's internet security expert with InfoStream, told me beware. As soon as you see something like this, there's just red flags going off left and right. This isn't the first ad of its kind to pop up. Crowitz found another identical ad of a man seeking a woman that ran in two local papers this summer. If something works, they replicate it and they use it over and over again. The goal, most likely, to grab personal information. Find out where they live and where they've worked and their family and what other information from their biography. I can use that to begin stealing their identity. Crowitz says appearing in reputable newspapers might make the ad seem safe. One key part of any scam is some element of validity to it. The Palm Beach Post advertising department told me they had no idea the ad could be questionable. The time it would take for them to investigate every ad, they'd be losing money like crazy on every ad. Krowitz compares the internet to a shady bar, and in this case, a lesson to be learned. With a bunch of suspect characters around there, you wouldn't share personal information, you wouldn't give them things, you wouldn't invite them home, or give them your biography and picture, and yet people do that all the time on the internet. Now, Crowitz says it's best not to respond to these ads at all. The Palm Beach Post advertising manager told me they are bringing these ads to the attention of higher-ups. Alana Quillen, WPTV News Channel 5.